guys welcome back to the right cooking channel today I'm just gonna make some fried dumpling and I'm gonna get started this is the flour guy I'm gonna put two pack of sugar and then I'm gonna just add some water already add a little salt to it like half teaspoon of salt and I'm just gonna use some water and knead it up and I'm gonna just walk you through it As I already told you guys, you have to be careful when you add the water to it because it will make it too soft where you have to add more flour until you get it the way you want it. So don't use a lot of water, just prep the water. And this is self-rising flour, this is not the all-purpose flour. Yes guys, she's correct on that. No. We use in the self rising flour. We don't have to add baking powder in it. This is already have baking powder in it. Baking. That's all it is. It's just water and dough and flour. And just well, make you a little. Some people do use milk to our butter. Put it in a little boiling water so that the dumpling can be much softer. But I don't go that route, guys. So now that it's ready, guys, look at it. It's ready. So I'm just going to make some small dumpling and walk you through it. Now guys, you can turn your fire on hot and high, but as soon as the skillet get hot, the oil get hot, turn it down to at least six. Flour is ready, and um, I'm gonna make already gonna make these dumpling, and I'm just gonna walk it through it. Now that the skillet, the oil is hot in the fat. I'm going to put them in and show you. Okay guys, see I'm rolling these dumplings and I'm put them in slowly. You can make some long one like this too guys. Oh 
Okay, guys. See, so get it color, getting brown. I just need to soak. It's take like maybe 10 minutes guys. Okay, this is our dumplings. And it's very simple. All we used was uh, one cup of flour and he just put water in it a little bit at a time until he got a nice soft dough and he rolled it up in his hand and mashed it where it's uh, round and spin some up a little bit and this is what it looks like now Jamaicans call this um, fried dumpling fried dumplings some of them call it festivals they got different names. Okay guys, this is our dumpling, fried dumpling. Some people even call them Johnny Cake. But um, we th these are like festival, or you can call them fried dumpling. And we are gonna eat them. It can be eaten with aki and saltfish. One of those days I'm gonna buy some aki and I'm gonna walk you through what you can eat with this. But for right now, I'm just gonna do some pork bean and cut up some like two sausage and just make a meal out of it alrighty okay the next thing we're going to do is start on our pork and beans first we're going to add our onion and bell pepper Gonna put some sausage in. We're gonna cut some two little hot dogs just in here. So all this is is sausage, hot dogs, bell pepper, and onion.
Okay guys, this is my pork and bean. Now I'm gonna add my seasoning guy. This is my salt free season. Looks like a half teaspoon. Now I'm gonna add my garlic powder guy, like a half teaspoon. And now I'm gonna add a, my little onion powder guy half a teaspoon as well and now guys this is my self made pepper scotch bonnet I'm just gonna add a, just a little bit because it's very spicy if you don't eat spicy food I won't have to put it in it but I love spicy food guy but if I'm cooking it for you I won't put it in it if you don't like it now guys I'm gonna put a little black pepper and I'm gonna put a little Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Not much. That's about a tablespoon of tomatoes. And now I'm gonna give it a stir. put a little crushed red pepper in it chopped red pepper just a little and that's it guy and then I'm gonna put pineapple And then I'm gonna turn my turn on my stove to half guy. I'm gonna make it steam for a little. Another five minutes I'm gonna make it steam. This meal don't take long to cook, maybe like eight minutes. And then I'm gonna make it steam for another three minutes. Okay, the three minutes is up, and this is what we have. Now it's ready, guy. Now I'm gonna dish a plate. Okay, guys, now that the meal is ready and we're about to eat, we just want to bless the food. Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you, God, for being our provider. And Lord, we thank you for your people, O oh God. Heal them. Heal this coronavirus in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Okay. This is what our meal looks like. 
you can see the fried dumplings here. You can see our little pork and beans and hot dogs and everything we have in it. It looks delicious and it also tastes delicious. I got to get a little taste of it. And you know, while you're home, you're stuck in the house and you can't go nowhere and food is getting low. This is just something quick and easy and cheap. A can of beans, hot dogs, sausage, whatever, you know, little meat you have in there. You can just make this and have a good meal. Okay, guys. I'm going to share. Let's eat. Always good, guys. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm, the fried dumplings are delicious. <coughs> Guy, it's spicy. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. See what the fried dumpling look like, guy? You gotta hold it over. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. And they got a, they soft and they got a nice little sweet taste to them. It's good. Delicious. <laughs> Good. Oh, you get another thumbs up. <laughs> Even if you can do the dumpling the way how I do it, you can just try the bean and the sausage and the hot dog. You can make a very good meal out of it. It's very good. And I think you can try the dumplings as well. It's not hard. Just measure your water. Judge your water. Don't pour a lot of water. And take your time and do it. And look over the video. You'll get it. It's not hard. We want to thank you guys for visiting our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit your notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you all.